Imagine you have a fantastic YouTube or Vimeo video that you want to share on your website. With DevHunt it's easy. In this quick tutorial I'll show you how can you embed your videos on your website so your visitors can enjoy your content without leaving your site. So let's get started. For the beginning we need to go to the settings of our project and install plugins called YouTube Embed and a plugin called Vimeo Embed. After that you can go back to the builder and start building your structure. With DevHunt it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go to the Elements panel and choose between YouTube or Vimeo blocks. Let's drag this YouTube block to our section. All I have to do now is just place it precisely where I want it in my Layers panel. And now I have my YouTube Embed ready for use. In this video I'll only show you how to use YouTube Embed because YouTube and Vimeo Embeds have exactly the same options except YouTube Embed has a few more extra options. Now. Let's begin editing our YouTube Embed. All you have to do is go to the plugin settings and here you will find field video URL. For this field you just need to go to the YouTube, select your video, right click on it and copy its URL. Right after that just go to the builder and paste that URL into this field. You can easily tweak the video's aspect ratio and explore a range of options and if you want your video to start playing automatically just toggle the autoplay feature. If you'd like your video to replay automatically once it's finished, simply enable the loop option. To enjoy your video without a sound, just turn on muted option. To demonstrate controls, let me enable the autoplay option briefly. You'll see that when I turn off the controls option, these playback tools will vanish. Let's return these options to their default settings and discuss the poster options. With the poster option you can set a custom thumbnail for your video. Just enable the poster option, upload an image from your PC and set it as the poster. You can as well add a custom play button. To do that you just need to go to this field here, upload your image and select it. With this your play button will be automatically changed. You can as well change the hover animation of this custom button. All you have to do is paste your class with stylings into this button class field. Before we move on the next options, let's delve deeper into the power of the poster. But before we explore its potential, let me clarify how this video embed works. By default, embedded videos automatically load with the page. And if you have multiple YouTube embeds on your page, it can significantly slow down your website speed and performance. However, with the poster feature enabled, you can eliminate this issue. When the poster is enabled, your video won't load until someone clicks on it. After we set all of those things for the poster, let's go to the live site to see what we achieved. You can notice that our video embed has custom thumbnail and custom play button. When I click on it, my video will start playing. Let's go back to the builder so we can discuss about plain pop-up option. When I enable it and go to the live site, you will notice that my video starts playing in a pop-up. Important thing to know when using a pop-up is, if your enable poster switch is disabled, your pop-up won't work. Let's disable this option and say a few words about extras. With the start field you can specify the point from which your video should begin playing. And the end field allows you to determine when your video will stop playing. Let's discuss the full screen button. I'll enable the autoplay option and disable the poster option. If you wish to hide this full screen icon, simply disable the full screen button option and it will vanish. If you'd like your video to consistently load in full HD, just enable the Force 1080p option. If your video doesn't have a full HD resolution, it will automatically load in the highest available resolution. If you want to customize the color of the progress bar, you have a choice between two colors, red and white. When I select the white color, the progress bar turns white. And that will be everything for YouTube Embed. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to DivHunt channel for more tutorials and updates. Until the next time, happy building.